guys, Cass here. Um, I kind of wanted to do a video, and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm at a different location in my room. I have it all set up on my desk, um, on my dresser. Um, so I figured, if any of you have ever seen the movie Tron, um, the the main the four girls that get Sam Flynn ready, uh, one of them's name is Jem. They all have the really slicked back hairdos, which I can't do with my hair yet because it's not long enough. So it's just slicked back to a ponytail. Um, and then they have the really pale skin and the really bright, or not the really bright, the really dark eyes. And the kind of like palish lip. So I thought it'd be kind of cool if I could recreate that. And I've already done the makeup and the prime. I've already done the, blah, 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 blah. I've already done the priming and my hair is slicked back in a ponytail. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get started. I've already started with um, my primer plus like a, a champagne colored um, shadow as my base. So give me just one minute to get my... Um, and a lot of the stuff I'm working with today are cream products, which is why you really want to make sure you have a um, primer on so it doesn't crease when it dries. Uh, the first product I'm using is my e.l.f. Duo Eyeshadow Cream. This one's in black licorice, and it has like a black and a silver. I'm going to be using the black one. And remember, this is a really dark look. Um, this is a very costumey look, and you don't really want to use it for everyday life. I mean, if you want to, that's okay, but this is mainly just for costume. You're going to spread this all over the eye. And you want it a bit above the crease, too. So that's kind of what it looks like on this side. And then of course do it to both sides. So it's kind of like this, and I'm going to fix my other side because it's a bit off. So that's what the first black looks like. Uh, the next black I'm using is off of a costume set. I'm actually going to be using two from this one. I'm going to be using this like blackish bluish color right here, black blue gray color, and this dark, dark black. I'm going to start with the dark blue. Uh, this is my Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers. It's a glitter palette. Um, it has a slight bit of shimmer to it and a slight bit of glitter, um, especially in the darker one. But the glitter is mostly at the top, so it's pretty much gone because I've used this before. Uh, this is actually it can be face paint, or you can use it as eyeshadow. So it's kind of nice. So it kind of looks like a darker brown color after you, you kind of put your brush into it a little bit and kind of rubbed it around. It kind of changes colors a bit because it, doesn't, it hasn't been exposed to the oxygen. Um, oops, I messed that one here. This one is going to go a little bit above the crease. or It's going to go into the crease and then up above. This is mainly for the crease and on the brow bone.
So it's kind of looking like that. And of course, do that to both sides. Make sure to blend it so it actually looks dark, but it kind of fades out a tiny bit so it doesn't look super harsh, although that's kind of what their makeup style is. I'm trying to blend it a tiny bit so it doesn't look as harsh. And yes, it, it I have mine a lot closer to the eyebrow than I think they do. Um, and she ha they also have the higher arching eyebrows, which you can do if you want to do. Um, okay, we're almost done with the eyes. La um, second to last, of course, is going to be that darker black at the bottom. This one right here. Sorry, that one. I'm going to take that one. It's like a really dark jet black color. It's darker than the other two. And I'm going to put that over in the crease again and over this black, the one that's all over the lid. And this is just kind of like an overcoat for pretty much everything you've done. So you're going to put that one up on the crease too, or up on the, br the bone, the brow bone as well. Just don't put that one as high up. So it's got the really dark color. Okay, so that's pretty much the top lids. Um, you can press the powder on over them if you want. Uh, for the bottom, since they also have a whole bunch on the bottom, what I'm going to do is instead of putting too much on the bottom, I'm going to take... First, I'm going to take my regular liner pencil. This is my... My um, glimmer sticks in Black is Black by Avon. And I'm going to use that for the bottom and my waterline. And don't worry about if it looks too thick, that's okay. Because remember, this is supposed to be a super thick looking look, anyways. Just one second, I'm going to see if I can find my pencil liner for this one. Um, you can use pretty much any liner you have. Um, that's pencil or, yeah, just pretty much any liner you have in this case. Um, I advise doing the waterline just because it looks a bit better. However, I can't seem to find it. Oh, okay, I'll use this one. Um, if I can find my sharpener. Patient sharpener. This is actually a gray pencil, but it'll work for my eye line. It's in it's the NYC color pencil, but it's in sharp charcoal. Sorry. 
So I'm going to use that for the waterline. Because it'll still give us that dark color. You can hear my cat meowing in the background, probably. <laughs> and of course, do the same to the other side. I'm taking my pencil again, my glimmer stick, and doing that under the eye. kind of sounds like he wants something but he's just being dramatic so okay and if you want to right here at this point you can if you didn't connect if you can't connect your eyeliner with your um eyeshadow you can put a little eyeliner on the inner corner okay so that's the eyes um you can put a powder on to set the makeup, or set the eye, at least. Um, that's what I did for the eyes. You can, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Of course, you also want to do your eye, your mascara. And you can use false lashes for this, because they have the really, um, bright, a really dark, really long, full lashes. Oops, somehow I got that on my eyebrow. Really full, fake looking eyelashes. And you can either draw those on with a liquid liner. Oops, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? I need to. I flip my eyes a lot when I do the eyeliner to actually help. Or the mascara it actually helps it go on a bit better and you can curl your lashes before I didn't do that okay so that was the look for that and that's how the eyes look which is the main focal point of this and she in the movie I know Jem the blonde girl she had the really dark eyes, and then of course she had the really super light lips. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm taking my, my peachy looking blush, and I'm almost out of time here, so I have to hurry. I'm just kind of putting that over. You can use a lipstick if you want. I'm using the blood or the lip gloss, uh, and then you want to use like a powder to set it all. Um, and I can't seem to find a powder, and you're gonna want to. So yeah, that's pretty much the look. What I'm also gonna do is take my blush brush. I only have a couple seconds left here. I'm gonna take it, tap off the excess, of course. And I'm going to spread it underneath here. And it gives it a bit of contour. So I'm going to do it underneath here as well. The excess. Sweep across your forehead. And there, that's pretty much the look. You want to, you, if you want to put finishing powder on it, you can. Uh, so, yeah. Here's the look. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, look, I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys later. Bye!